So you're thinking about moving to Fleming Island, Florida, and you're wondering, is it worth it? What's out there? What is there to do in Fleming Island? How far is it to everything? Is it really an island? Would I be better off to move to Orange Park or be in Jacksonville or maybe even St. Augustine? Well, stick with this in this video. We're gonna answer all those questions. We're gonna go over the pros and cons of living in Fleming Island. And if you stick with this to the end, I'm gonna tell you my three favorite restaurants right there on Fleming Island. One of those has the best cheese grits and fried pickles. Dip it with a little bit of uh, ranch dressing. Oh my goodness, it's amazing. But stick with this till the end and I'm gonna tell you where those are located. If this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about living in the Jacksonville area and the surrounding areas like Fleming Island, then click on subscribe, tap the bell for notifications so you'll be the first to know of all the changing market conditions here in the Northeast Florida area and specifically in Fleming Island. Hi, my name is Chris Snow with the Florida Coastal Team and my team and I, we get calls, texts, and emails every single day from folks just like you who are looking for help moving in and around and to the Fleming Island area and we absolutely love it. So whether you're looking at making a move in the next few days, the next few weeks, the next few months, give us a call, send us a text, send us an email, book a private Zoom call. All of our contact information is right at the bottom of the screen. So as we stated in the opening, we're gonna be talking about the pros and cons of what it's like to live in Fleming Island and we're gonna jump after it right now. All right, so the question of the day, what is your favorite water sport activity? The reason why we're asking that question is that there are a lot of water sports to do right there in Fleming Island. So what is your favorite water sport activity? All right, so believe it or not, Fleming Island is an actual island. Now, it's not a big, big island. There are just uh, two little waterways that are separating it off, but it is a truly an island, and it's located just south of Orange Park, just north of Green Cove Springs, and distance-wise, it's about 21 miles to downtown Jacksonville. Now, population there in Fleming Island is about 30,000 people, so it is uh, continuing to grow. Now, because it's a suburb of Orange Park, which again is a suburb of Jacksonville, we're seeing that Fleming Island is continuing to grow. Now, one of the big draws for Fleming Island uh, is that it's proximity to the Naval Air Station Jacksonville. It's only about 10 miles away just south of NAS Jacks. And so a lot of times what people are doing is that they are getting relocated in. Uh, they're going to be based and stationed right there at NAS Jacks. So they'll look in the Orange Park area. And as they go a little bit further south into Fleming Island, they end up finding some great homes, some great locations, some great values. And so with its proximity to NAS Jacks, they end up moving there. So again, big draw for uh, the Fleming Island area is anyone who needs to get to NAS Jacks, pretty direct route, only about 10 miles away. The great thing about Fleming Island is to get to the airport, the Jacksonville International Airport, you're only about 35 miles away. So it doesn't take very long. All you're gonna do is just go up 17 for a couple of miles, jump on 295, and then you've got a straight shot right to the Jacksonville International Airport. So just north of Fleming Island, you have Orange Park. And inside of Orange Park right there is the Orange Park Mall. Now, the Orange Park Mall is not a bad mall. It's an indoor mall. But what, uh, what we see a lot is that people that are in Fleming Island are going more and more over to the south side, over to the St. John's Town Center. Uh, just a few more higher end stores, more restaurants. It's an outdoor feel. It looks a little bit different. So a lot of times what people are doing is they're bypassing the Orange Park Mall. They're going right up to the St. John's Town Center. At, again, St. John's Town Center is only about 25. 27 miles away. So it's a quick commute to get over there. Uh, there they're going to find the Apple store. They're going to find the Cheesecake Factory. They're going to find uh, you know, all the major retailers uh, that you're not going to find at the indoor mall there in Orange Park. Uh, Lululemon, Restoration Hardware. So some of those uh, Macy's. So some of those higher end stores you're going to find right there at the St. John's Town Center. Hey, and if you like history, you're only 33 miles to downtown St. Augustine. So you can go down into St. Augustine and take part in all the tours, all the historical tours and the fun tours that they've got going on there in downtown St. Augustine, only about 33 miles away. Hey, so if you're finding this information helpful, do me a quick favor and just click on the like button. That way everybody gets notified. And the more likes we get, the more people get to see the video. So now you got a little bit better idea of where Fleming Island's located, how far it is to certain things, the, the major landmarks and stuff like that. Now we got to get into the pros and cons. Now, if you've watched any of our other videos like the pros and cons of Jacksonville or the pros and cons of Orange Park, even the pros and cons of St. Augustine, what you're going to find is that 
we always start with the weather is one of the biggest pros that we have in the Northeast Florida area. And the reason why is that about 10 months, nine and a half months of the year, we have fantastic weather. Now it does get hot uh, you know, during the summer months, but again, nine and a half, almost 10 months of the year, very good weather. So during the winter, average temperature is about 55 degrees. We only have a few days in a row where it actually gets really cold, but then it warms up. So we'll get into the high 60s, low 70s at uh, different points of the winter. And then we'll have a couple of days of uh, cold snaps and stuff like that. But again, the weather is amazing and that does not change there for Fleming Island. The next thing I wanna talk about is no income tax. Okay, so state of Florida has no state income tax. You do have to pay federal, you do not have to pay state income tax. So one of the great reasons why people are coming to Florida uh, is again, quality of life, uh, and they get that nice bump in pay uh, with no state income tax. Now, the housing costs in the Fleming Island area are much lower than what you're gonna find over in the St. Johns County area. And it's about on par with what you're gonna find for the greater Jacksonville area. So cost of living, overall cost of living is great right there in Fleming Island. Housing prices are very affordable. So you'll see things as low as 180,000 up to you know multi-million dollar properties there in Fleming Island. Now, one of the big draws that people love with the Fleming Island area is that you have Doctors Lake and you have the St. Johns River. So if you like the river life, if you like the lake life, two great waterways and water opportunities for people to spend time on their boat, to spend time out uh, skiing or out swimming or kayaking or paddle boarding. So if you like lake life, if you like the river life, you're gonna absolutely love the Fleming Island area. There are some restaurants and marinas that are right on Doctors Lake. So it makes it real easy to come off the St. John's River, uh, fuel up right at the marina or go down to one of the restaurants that's right on the river. Now, the other thing is, is if you like the idea of going downtown, it's a quick boat ride to go from Fleming Island to downtown Jacksonville. And while you're down there, that's another pro that we have is that all the sporting events that you can take place in, and it's not very far to either drive or get on your boat and go right downtown. With the sporting events, you've got our NFL team with the Jacksonville Jaguars. You have the uh, AAA baseball team, the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp. Yeah. Those are two of the more popular sporting events that people uh, like to take part in there in the greater Jacksonville area, specifically in Fleming Island. Uh, but if you don't like those two, we also have professional basketball with the Jacksonville Giants. We also have uh, minor league hockey with the Jacksonville Icemen, and we have arena football with the Jacksonville Sharks. One other thing is if you like to watch professional golf, you're not that far of a drive over to Ponte Vedra, so you can go watch the Players' Championship. One of the other things is that if you love going downtown uh, is the con concert series that are there and we've got uh, a lot of concerts are held right there at Daly's Place and also at the Veterans Memorial. Uh, so again, you're only about 25 miles from downtown and it's a very quick commute right up uh, 17 to get to downtown. Or again, if you're on the boat, just take the boat straight north. All right, so one of the biggest reasons why Fleming Island and Clay County as a whole has been growing is the school systems there. Great schools and according to like niche.com and best places, what you're gonna find is that Clay County as a whole and specifically there in Fleming Island, A-rated schools everywhere with your middle school, your uh, elementary schools and your high schools there. One of the great things I love about Fleming Island is that when you're out and about and you're driving around, you're gonna see people out on a regular basis. So it's a very active lifestyle for people there in Fleming Island. Island, whether the people are hiking and biking, going out to like the ba Black Creek Park and some of the other uh, state parks that are right around in that area, or just getting out on the waterways and getting out on Doctors Lake or out on the river, people are outdoors quite a bit. And so again, you're going to love seeing that activity of people just bill milling around and walking around the Fleming Island area. Another pro is that if you want to escape and get out of town, uh, we are very centrally located uh, to go down to Orlando. You're only a couple hours to Orlando. You're only about two hours away from the Kennedy Space Center. You're only about two hours to downtown Savannah. Uh, so if you want some additional uh, historical places, you can go to Savannah. And then if you also like to get up to Charleston, you're only about three, three and a half hours to Charleston. So it's very convenient just to pop over to any of those locations and just make great day trips without having to spend a whole day or spend the night if you don't want to. So now we've explored the pros. Now let's jump into the cons because there are some and, and Fleming Island may not be for everyone. So one of the first cons that we always have to address are hurricanes. We're in Florida on a regular basis, uh, you know, starting about July, August, you'll start seeing named storms and that goes all the way through the middle of October. So our storm season, you know, lasts three or four months. 
Now, the great thing about the Northeast Florida area and Fleming Island in particular is that you know, we haven't taken a direct hit on a hurricane for a long time. Now, we've had over the last five or six years, a couple of storms come off the uh, the coast uh, with some flooding that's more in the downtown Jacksonville area, uh, flooding out at the beaches, flooding in downtown St. Augustine. Fleming Island didn't get much of the uh, the water um, damage that uh, happened as a result of that, even though they're right there on the uh, St. John's River. Uh, people did not have and experienced tons and tons of flooding. So even though we do have the hurricanes, you want to you know watch out for those. So again, you know we we have the hurricanes, we can't get around those, um, but you know it is a con. So if you are worried about hurricanes, we're in Florida. Florida just may not be a great state for you, uh, specifically here in Northeast Florida, because again we are a little bit more coastal. Even though Fleming Island is about 30 minutes, 30 about 25, 30 miles from the coast, if you're again if you're worried about uh, uh, hurricanes, Fleming Island just may not be the place for you. Now the next con that we have for Fleming Island is it it's kind of spread out geographically right it's it's a pretty decent land size area um, and because of the way things are set up is that there's really no central location for everything so um, you have to kind of drive if you like to walk everywhere and walk to the shops and walk to the restaurants and stuff like that you may not find that Fleming Island is as accessible uh, so it's the walkability for for Fleming Island not as good as let's say downtown St. Augustine or Jackson Beach, and we did a pros and cons of Jacksonville Beach, and you can take a look at that in here. The next con I want to talk about is the traffic. Now, traffic in and around the Jacksonville area compared to Atlanta or Orlando or some of the other major metros that aren't too far from Jacksonville. Jacksonville as a whole and Fleming Island are much, much better than those, but we do have traffic. And so what you'll find is that there is a backup in the morning as people are going north on 17 to get to 295 to either go to downtown Jacksonville or over to the south side or continuing on State Road 17, they may run into a little bit more of a backup as they go to NAS Jack. So again, traffic isn't as bad as some of those other areas, but you know, in Fleming Island, you will find some traffic going north on 17 during the rush hour, first thing in the morning, last thing in the afternoon. Another con for Fleming Island is that if you like nightlife and the nightlife is your scene and you want to go out and you want to do things after 10 o'clock, Fleming Island is probably not the best place for you. Things do tend to shut down. The restaurants are going to start shutting down around 9 o'clock, maybe 10 o'clock. Not a ton of bars that uh, are going to be staying open too, too much later. Uh, so if nightlife is your scene, you're going to want to get over to Jacksonville Beach. You're going to want to get over to somewhat of Ponte Vedra, but more the Jacksonville Beaches area. Or if you don't like the Northeast Florida area, go down to Orlando. They have a huge nightlife scene there. But for the most part, people that are coming to Fleming Island, not necessarily looking for the nightlife. But if that's you, there might be other areas of Northeast Florida that would be better for you. All right, so now then the last con that I'm gonna go over is we're here in Northeast Florida. Most of Northeast Florida at some point was kind of swampland and we've kind of built that swampland up. And with that, we have snakes and we've got bugs and we do have alligators. So uh, if you are afraid of those things and you are deathly afraid of those things, then Fleming Island may not be the place for you. But what I have found, the snakes like to mind their own business. The alligators like to mind their own business. And we do have bugs. So if, you, if you're allergic to mosquitoes, we really can't do anything about that. But uh, we do have great bug spray. And uh, when it comes to uh, maintaining your homes, we have plenty of companies that will come out, treat for bugs. So I don't really think that bugs are that big of a deal. But if you are deathly allergic to mosquitoes, we've got them here and there's a lot of them. They come out, you know, June, July, especially early morning, late afternoon, early evening. And then, you know, throughout the day, they're not too bad, but you know, you get rain, you get some, some wet days and you got some water sitting around you're gonna get those bugs, you're gonna get those mosquitoes, so. Now, you've had a chance to hear the pros and cons of what's going on here in Fleming Island. One other video that you can check out next is gonna be the pros and cons of Orange Park. Uh, again, so if you like being in the Clay County area, you wanna know a little bit more about someplace other than Fleming Island, check out this video for the pros and cons of Orange Park. Now, I said if you stayed with me to the end, I was gonna tell you my three favorite restaurants, so here we go. Uh, my first favorite restaurant is Grumpy's. Now, Grumpy's is just over Fleming Island. It's just off the island, but I, I'm going to call it Fleming Island because it's, it's right there on the border. Uh, Grumpy's is amazing. Uh, so for me, order anything, whether it's breakfast or lunch, doesn't matter what you order, but you have to top off your lunch or your breakfast with a cinnamon roll. Their cinnamon rolls are unbelievable. Sometimes I'll just go there and order a cinnamon roll and nothing else. That is my breakfast. That is my lunch. So 
go-to place there is Grumpy's. If you love breakfast, if you're a breakfast foodie person, you're gonna love it and get the cinnamon roll. Now, my second favorite restaurant out there on Fleming Island is going to be Corky Bell's. Now, Corky Bell's is amazing seafood. So if you love shrimp, for me, I'm a big fried shrimp fan. They have a great fried shrimp and fish basket that is fantastic. And I do love their hush puppies. I'm a very big fan of their hush puppies. So if you go and you get over to Corky Bell's, get the uh, get the shrimp and fish platter and get the hush puppies. And uh, the French fries are amazing too. Now, my third and final one, and I'm glad you guys stayed with us to the here at the end, at Whitey's Fish Camp, which is right there on Doctor's Lake. So if you wanna be out on the lake, doing your thing and then pop in and then have a great lunch, dinner, Whitey's is the place to go. Now for me, Whitey's has the best cheese grits and the best fried pickles in all of Northeast Florida. And I know you're probably sitting there going fried pickles. If you've never tried it, it will change your life. If you've never tried fried pickles, it will change your life. Dip them in a little bit of ranch dressing. Everything's better with ranch dressing. Dip it in a little ranch dressing. You'll absolutely love it and you'll thank me later. Don't forget our question of the day. What is your favorite water sport activity? Please do me a favor, comment on that below. So as we wrap things up here, if you found this helpful, please do me a favor, click on the like button. Chris Snow with the Florida Coastal Team. God bless.